In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite Galaxy AI feature on the Z Fold 6 that makes it really compelling for creators. Oh, and you might wanna stay till the end because I have a secret hidden feature that I haven't seen anyone talk about on the new Galaxy AI. Sketch to image. This might possibly be the most exciting update to Galaxy AI. On the surface, it's pretty self-explanatory. You sketch, Galaxy AI turns it into a photorealistic image. And a pretty damn good one too. There are three ways of activating this. Number one, anywhere on your device. Number two is within the Notes app. And number three is my personal favorite and the one we'll talk about the most within the Gallery app. First, the most simple and mostly for fun, anywhere from the device. To activate this, you can slide out from the edge panel or if you're using the pen, you can just tap on this setting here, tap on sketch to image. With this, the entire screen becomes your canvas. Now, you can draw pretty much anything you like. There's options like watercolor, illustration, sketch, pop art, or even 3D cartoon. Once you're happy with your drawing, just tap on generate and there you have it. This on its own is already really cool. You get four different options to pick from and if you don't like it, you can always regenerate once again. This is also the most basic implementation of sketch to image. The second way to use it is within the notes app. Here, if you're taking different notes or you're sketching down different points and drawing some objects there to support that, like a storyboard, for example, draw a circle around your image. And just like before, it's gonna ask you to pick a style that you wanna go for and click on generate. You get four different options to pick from once again. And just like that, your drawing has come to life. This is actually very useful for storyboarding or materializing your idea into something physical rather than endlessly Google searching while looking for something. My personal favorite and the reason I'm making this video is going to be sketch to image within the gallery app. This to me is the most compelling and the one I think I'm gonna be using the most. Now, if you guys have used Photoshop generated fill, this works exactly the same way, except instead of using text prompts, you're kind of sketching on what you want, where you want it. And Galaxy AI will recognize that, add that in for you in a photorealistic way. So take a photograph, tap on Galaxy AI and tap on the new sketch to image button. Now you can be as creative or abstract as you want, or you can be as photorealistic and try to sketch as precisely as possible. For me, in this case, for example, I wanna draw a bee next to this flower. So I'm gonna draw my rough idea of what the bee would look like next to a flower. Within this option as well, the colors you use will also make a different and affect the kind of image you get. So you can switch to different brush sizes and colors to really configure it the way you want. Once you're done with your sketch, simply tap on generate and give it a few seconds. The results from this are going to be <laughs> remarkable. Just take a look at these generations. They look so realistic. The anatomy of the bee is absolutely perfect. The shadows, highlights, and midtones all match the original image and the reflections, focus fall off, bokeh, all looks perfect. And just by looking at this image for the first time, you wouldn't be able to tell whether it's AI generated or real. Again, on the go, this is absolutely incredible. You don't have your laptop with you for creative generation. You can use Galaxy AI sketch to image feature. And when you combine that with generated fill and expanding your photo from the sides, the possibilities really become endless. Now I tried this in various situations to generate a new cat, add plants and paintings to my living room to change the skyline. It's literally all just up to your imagination. This will beg the question of what's a real photo and I totally feel that, but that's a conversation for another day. Obviously, this works amazingly with the generative expand or generative removing objects from my scenes, totally making this device a powerhouse for users like that. I really love sketch to image, but another thing I've been really playing around with is the portrait studio. It's a more fun thing. It's not part of this video, by the way. I'm just saying because it it's fun. Uh, you can turn yourself into a 3D card. It's pretty cool. Look, check, check mine out. I, I like it. So that's sketch to image. But the hidden feature I wanted to share with you if you've stayed till the end, you're amazing, is the live effect feature. I haven't really seen this anywhere. It is literally hidden under the info section of your image. So once you swipe up after you've taken an image, you're gonna find a new setting there called live effect. What this will essentially do is turn your 2D image into a 3D dynamic video. This is so smart because it uses generative fill to fill up the gaps behind your main subject while adding a parallax movement in the foreground and background. This is really, really cool if you wanna share your photo in a more dynamic way. This does use your portrait depth information as well as Galaxy AI to fill in the details in the back. And I think this is a pretty cool, fun effect. Now, of course, the S24 Ultra is a better camera phone compared to the Z Fold 6. But the reason why this is standing out for me is obviously gonna be the fact that the Z Fold 6 comes with the new Galaxy AI, but also that display is so much larger, making this much more desirable for me to edit on the go. So there you have it, my favorite new Galaxy AI feature on the Z Fold 6. I feel like I'm gonna be using this a lot to create some 
random cat photos. It's just gonna be a lot of cat photos. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys subscribe, follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm most active. I share a lot of stuff there. I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon. Until then, take care and bye-bye.